Ryan the Nyoka Hall. My name is Samantha Moreno. I'm a unicorn. Why can't the unicorn have the rainbow colors? Hi, I'm Taylor. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a female. I'm a, uh, I'm a student. I'm a student. How are you? Um, I'm in sociology and women's studies. Okay, well, my ideal job would be a human rights lawyer, so I can like, um, I don't know. And I just feel really <laughs> angry whenever I hear like, social injustice, like in China. The, if you see those factories where they make the, our jeans, it's like I want to cool down. <laughs> I want to like, I want to really, I want to help. I don't know. I would love to be a benevolent dictator. Um, I like reading, writing, kind of like I wish uh, this book, like a blank line book, and it's kind of. I have I'm writing a story, but there's no plot line. Um, it doesn't make sense most of the time, so I just kind of write and I add onto it. And I love Netflix a little too much. So yeah, I like The Fosters. I watch Riverdale, Stranger Things, Gilmore Girls, and what's that for really? I am 18 years old, and I'm Canadian. <laughs> I'm a fashion student here in Ottawa. I go to Richard Robinson. It's a fashion school downtown. I do work. I work at a grocery store. It's not very glamorous, but it pays the bills. <laughs> Long term, I'd like to be the creative director of my own fashion house, but short term, hopefully after I graduate, I could be an apprentice at a fashion house. I love music and I love the arts. Um, I love painting and drawing and anything that has to do with art. It just makes me so excited to like see different, you know, ways to people express themselves through their art. So that's something one of my favorite hobbies. I'm a student at Algonquin studying animation, and I'm in my third year. I like drawing or creating type of art on like my computer too. Maybe work at a studio for like a 3D movie. Maybe like DreamWorks in California, but that's like a really big goal. If not, just like get a job at a studio around the world. Maybe like Ireland or something. So I get to travel at the same time. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty much it. Other than, I guess, like drawing and stuff, I like to go out with my friends on the weekends as much as possible. I guess being surrounded by the like people that I enjoy having company with. Um, then during the summer, I do soccer. And during the winter, I snowboard. Doing sports, it makes me just like forget about what's going on and just, I guess, living in the moment. Okay, so um, I'm an elf. I am adopted. Um, I'm hard of hearing and I have a low vision as well. Meaning, I can't really see what's around me. Oh, okay, so they told me to look straight ahead and put your two thumbs like this and stop whenever I get to my two thumbs. So, yeah, draw here. Yeah. So, with the adoption part, um, when I was younger, people were always like, oh, I feel so bad, I'm so sorry. And I'm just like, okay. <laughs> and with the hearing age, um, when I tell people I'm hard of hearing, they either just, okay, and they walk away, or they'll, <laughs> or they'll, um, oh, you're hard of hearing, okay, and really articulate the like they do. Jump from your head, have low vision too. <laughs> At my university, right, I guess people are just either in their own life, or they're, they're I don't know. <laughs> Normal for them, but they don't want to overreact or whatever. The only time people really, really, really overreact is when I'm walking from one door to another with a cane, and they're texting, 
they look up and they jerk. <laughs> Win-win. You know, you get an interviewer and I get to talk about me. <laughs> <laughs> I get shallow. It's true. It was a joke. My name is Samantha Moreno and I am a transgendered woman. It doesn't affect my life as much as many people would think. Sometimes it can be really stressful and cause anxiety in my life, but it's really rare and doesn't happen that often. Um, I've learned to live with my special trait, we'll call it. Um, so yeah, it makes my life is not any more difficult with it. If, I, if I'm around people that I love and care about, I'm really open, especially at school and stuff like that. I don't care what people think of me. But in other situations when it's a stranger and I don't know them yet, it, it's really hard for me to open up to someone, so it depends. Many people react with shock because they never expect me to say something like that or bring it up. Um, usually they're really positive about it and they encourage me. Um, I've never had anyone like say anything really negative to my face anyways. They're usually just kind of shocked. If it's like a negative person, they're just shocked and they, you know, say whatever they have to say behind my back. But up front, it's usually all positive. I think life would be a lot easier, to be honest. Like, to be, for lack of a better word, normal would be a lot more simple because no one knows what it's like to go through this. And it's hard to, like, have people relate to you sometimes because nobody, like, not a lot of people understand what you're going through. Um, but I don't, I, I couldn't imagine my life any other way. I love spreading the word about what it's like being transgender and I want to, you know, open some minds and educate some people. Um, hi, my name is Taylor. I am adopted and I'm also gay. <laughs> um, mostly more upfront with my closer friends and family. I still, it depends on like who I feel comfortable sharing more private stuff about myself. Like, it's just not something that I automatically, like, feel like people need to know, I guess. It kind of just, I bring it up if the topic happens. But it's not, like, just something where, like, hi. I like girls, like, no. Um, it makes me a little bit more unique. Uh, I think that's what's made me, um, and it's also interesting topics to talk with people, and it's also a good way for maybe people that are more closed-minded or less aware of stuff. I actually used to be one of those people. Um... Yeah, I think it was just like a fear, I guess, of maybe coming to terms with it. And that was even before I even thought about it myself. Um, so I understand maybe why some people act that way. It's just a fear of unknown and something different and change, so I don't know, I get it in some ways.